Hello, hello. Good evening, Chair. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Good You're fine. It is nice to see you. Yes. <laughs> okay, how is your day going? Tell mm -hmm. me about the weather. How's the weather? Today was very busy. Uh, it because was I have to work. I went to work in the morning. Okay. At 5 p.m. Get up at 5 p.m. Wow, very and early. Yes. Yeah. Later, I went. Because it's rápido. Fast. Fast. Mm -hmm. uh, take a shower. And wow. then there's a. Uh, um, <laughs> okay. Go, well, you can do it. You can do it. Go. Okay. Uh, I got. Remember the past of get? I got dressed. I got dressed and then I got, got to work. Okay. And return at home at 3 p.m. At 3, okay. At 3 p.m. Okay. In the in the afternoon, I I was I went I was uh, uh, cook dinner for with my family. Okay, so <laughs> before class, you cooked dinner. Okay, interesting. Yes. Hey, there we Thank go. You. Okay. Good description. I could imagine all the process or all the activities that you do in a regular day. Excellent. Yes. How about the rest of you guys? Tell me about your day. Let's practice. I can listen to all of you if necessary. So go ahead and practice. Okay, let me check the chat. ¿Quién más nos quiere compartir? Tell me about your day. What did you do? What did you do? Yes, class. In this case, remember, if we talk about activities in the past, we are going to use the simple past. For that structure, we have regular and irregular verbs. Okay, so let's try on how to express the routine or the activities that we do. What did you do? Mientras llegan los compañeros, los escucho. What did you do? Elma, she was the first one in coming to the class and telling me about her day. Vamos, uno más por lo menos. Don't be shy. You can do it. Don't hear classmate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't be afraid to participate. <laughs> Imagine that this is a conversation. Not with the teacher, but with somebody else. If they ask you about your day, what are you going to say? Or are you going to stay quiet like this? Not right. Remember, this is a regular topic. If people ask you about the weather, about the activities that you do every day, and even they can ask you about future plans, that, that is a topic that we have been practicing. So get ready to express your ideas, yes? I motivate you to talk to yourself at least one minute each day, yes? And then you're going to see the progress. Next day, try to talk to you or record yourself telling about the activities that you did or the activities that you're going to do. Now, probably uh, describing what you're dressing just right at the moment. I don't know. Those are like ideas if you want to improve, number one, your pronunciation, your confidence, why not? 
and even your fluency. The more you practice, the more you're going to see a progress. ¿Qué clase? No es necesario que hablemos rápido, like that fast. Con que vayamos construyendo ideas, ¿sí? Juntando ideas, oraciones. Esa es la idea. ¿Qué clase los motivos? Don't be shy. Si es cierto, algunos son un poco más... Sí, así. <risa> wow, hasta me fui, me desconecté un ratito. I don't know what happened. Chicas, vamos, <risa> speak and practice. ¿Qué creen que vamos a hacer ahora? If you see uh, the previous class, Yesterday's class, we were having some exercises about questions in order to present information about the future. Yes? Que vamos a hablar del futuro. Así que hagamos un último repaso de going to. But first, let me ask you, what are the structures that we can use in order to talk about the future. Hagamos el repaso, chicos. Yes. ¿Cuál es la estructura que uso para hablar del future? Let me listen to you. Um, the subject. Ah, ok. Cuando me refiero a estructura gramatical, por ejemplo, de simple present tense, the present continuous, the present perfect, para que vayamos viendo la diferencia y cómo se llama cada una de las estructuras. Yes. ¿Cómo expresamos el future in English? We have two common ways. Going to. How? Oh, using the expression or the model going to. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más usamos? Will. Will, exactly. Ahí estamos. Así que practicamos. Empezamos con speaking. Ya que los veo muy callados en la clase, vamos a preguntarles sobre actividades en el futuro. Here we go. So let me show you the first activity. Try to explain Express your ideas. Don't be shy. I know everybody can participate. You have the information about these type of activities. So here we go. Let me see. I already have 15 students in the class, but I cannot see you guys. Let me see. Antes de dar inicio a la primera activity. Let's see. Ok, Jeffrey ya nos justificó muy bien. Está de oyente. Gracias, Jeffrey, por el esfuerzo. Jonathan. Margarita, mientras llega a casa también. En luz. Ok, gracias, Luz, por el esfuerzo. Esperemos de que pueda sentirse mejor pronto, ¿sí? Ya es nuestra antepenúltima clase para finalizar el Intermediate One. Yes. Y no crean que se va a poner más fácil, no. Vienen más retos con los nuevos módulos. Así que alistémonos. You can do it, class. He visto el progreso de todos, ¿sí? Quienes se atreven un poco más a participar. Quienes tienen más confianza también a la hora de hablar. But don't worry, this is a process in which we are going to learn on how to express ideas in English. Remember, the idea of this type of sessions. I cannot call them classes because you already know this topic. We are just practicing with some exercises. The idea is for you to ask questions to make sure that you understand the topic and you can express at least one or two minutes in, in each class your ideas about the topic. Yes. Y que aquí vamos. Les presento entonces la primera actividad. Speaking practice. What are we going to do? We are going to discuss about future plans. So I have some questions in which you are going to read the question. And after that, you're going to give a response 
you can even make the same question to one of your classmates. So in that way, we can have two answers from one question. Vámonos al último que me aparezca en mi, en mi lista. Uh, it's Margarita. Hi, Margarita. Good evening. Are you ready to participate? Margarita is the first one. So let's see. Mientras Alisa Está Mar de oyente, Margarita. Oh, Margarita is oh, listening sí. to today's class. Okay, don't you worry. So here we go. I have the first question. What are you going to watch on TV tonight? If it is the case that you're going to watch TV or probably YouTube, what are you going to watch tonight after the class? Who can give me the response? Okay, let's try to interchange ideas. ¿Qué van a hacer? Oh, en este caso, going to watch. Acuérdense que ayer hicimos el análisis. ¿Qué me están consultando y con qué verbo voy a responder? Going to watch. Vamos, quiero escuchar. Go, please. Yes. Uh, I'm going to watch to Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Okay, I'm going to watch Spider-Man. Okay, that is a great movie and great recommendation for tonight. Excellent. Yeah. Edwin, ask the same question to one of your classmates. Bueno, no olvidemos los que question. están de, uh -huh, no olviden los que están de oyentes. Yes, the same question. So we can okay. to your classmates. Okay. Uh, what are you going to watch on TV tonight, Elmer? Good evening. I'm going to, I'm going to watch, um, Sky movie. Okay, okay. There we go. Let's pick another one. Helmer, pregúntale a alguien. What time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? Go oh, please, ask the question. Norma Elizabeth. Okay. What time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? I am going to get up uh, at around 7 o'clock a.m. You're going to get up around 7 o'clock. Okay, a.m. or in the morning. Oh, you're so lucky, Norma. Que bien que le puede que puede tomar tiempo. Great job. Norma, ask the same question to one of your classmates. Okay. Jonathan Alexander Molina. La misma pregunta, dice. Yes, the same one. Okay. What time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? I guess he's just a listener. He's just listening. He cannot participate. Pick another one. Ya contestó en el chat. Ay, sorry. Vamos, look. Here Yes, in the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay, who else? Oh, Jonathan says, I'm gonna get up at 5 a.m. Thank you, Jonathan, for the effort. So, Norma, look for another one because this is an speaking practice. We want to listen to you. Laura Concepcion? Uh, she cannot. También está de oyente. Laura, is... she cannot. Elvin Alexander Hercules. Okay, once again to Edwin. Go please, Edwin. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get up at five 
around fire. Yeah. Around <laughs> fire. Okay, interesting. Thank you. Okay, let me pick another one. Vámonos dos más. Por lo menos cinco que practiquemos. Let's spin the wheel. Oh, this is quite interesting. What time are you going to go to bed tonight? Do you have an idea, class? What time are you going to go to bed tonight? Yes? Okay, let me start with my information. In my case, I really hope to go to bed uh, before midnight because I still have a lot of activities to do after the class. So I am planning or I am going to go to bed before midnight. Tell me about your class. What time are you going to go to bed tonight? What can you tell me? Let me see, Catherine, Jasmine, or Rosa Yvette, or Stephanie. What time are you going to go to bed tonight? Well, I'm going to go, mm -hmm. maybe um, 11 p.m. Okay, around 11 p.m. Excellent, interesting. And you, Yvette? In the case, I'm going to go to my bed around 11 p.m. Around 11 p.m. Okay, the same. Excellent. Elijamos una más, the last one. Let me see. We really hope this is going to be an easy one. Oh, do you already have plans for tomorrow class? Being more specific, tomorrow afternoon. What are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? In my case, I am going to, tomorrow is what? Thursday, right? I'm going to be teaching, you know, in the afternoon. So how about you? What are you going to do class? Let's listen to you guys. Let me see if uh, Marlon can participate or Stephanie or Sylvia. Go ahead, guys. You can do it. Tell me about okay, your plan. Exactly. In my case, tomorrow in the afternoon, I'm going to visit my grandparents. Oh, that's so sweet. I really liked your plans. You're going to visit. Just one more. Marlon, are you there? Can you participate with this one? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Mm, tomorrow afternoon. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm going to make uh, some publication for our website. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. That's quite interesting. Excellent. So, okay. Creo que todos podemos usar la estructura. Básicamente siempre se han fijado, damos affirmative statements, casi nunca damos respuestas negativas, ¿sí? Lo más común es dar ejemplos afirmativos, yo voy a, yo voy a. En el caso de preguntas, por ejemplo, the just no questions, in that case, I can have negative statements, not only affirmative statements, yes. Pero cuando son preguntas bien en general con las WH words, siempre, casi siempre resulta información en forma eh, de afirmación, ¿verdad? Affirmative statements. Es raro que digamos, I'm not going to. Si no, el negativo siempre puede ser eh, cuando yo estoy corrigiendo información. O ¿no? para una yes, no question. ¿Ok? También eso es algo importante de recordar. So, agregámosle un poco más al tema. If you remember, I was telling you yesterday that we are going to use this structure. When are we going to use this structure, class? ¿Sí? ¿Cuándo la vamos a usar la estructura? Whenever we are going to express 
plants, 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 right? Plants. No podemos usar la estructura con cosas que suceden al azar, ¿sí? En esa situación tendríamos que usar una estructura diferente. So, let me present the ideas for the use of will. And after that, we are going to have a conversation so you can listen to the conversation and you can practice this conversation at the same time. Okay, here we go. So if you have your notebook, open it, start taking notes because we are going to present some information. Aquí sí hay mucha información que escribir. Creo que el going to, una palabra básica, la define. Plans or planned activities. Con eso definiría yo una estructura completa. Going to, el futuro con going to. Here we go. In the case of will, vamos a presentar class number 15. We are about to finish with this module. We are going to introduce the last part of this topic from section number five, the use of will. Aquí está. Vamos a dejar que cargue La diapositiva, aquí está. Vaya clase, tomemos nota. Aquí está, class number 15. Let me see. Ok, ahorita se las presento. Vaya, aquí estamos. Here we go. Well, actually, this is section number five, not section number four. But the topic for class number 15, the future with will. Vale, empecemos con el tema. Sí. Vamos a analizar. Will. Es este un verbo, es este un nombre, un adverb, adjective. What piece of, or what structure is this one? Vamos al detalle. ¿Qué será esto entonces? Is this a verb? Is this an auxiliary verb? Is this an adverb? An adjective? A noun? Auxiliary verb. Ah, ¿y ¿qué pasa con los auxiliary verbs? How do they work? Yes. How do they work, the auxiliary verbs? Do you have any other example of an auxiliary verb? ¿Qué otros conocen ustedes? Will es claro uno. ¿Qué otro conocen? Another auxiliary verb. Do, does. I don't know. Exactly. Do. Y en la tercera persona. Does. Porque este es en el presente. ¿Qué otra conocen? ¿Será que se acuerdan de este? Can. Yes. Would. Mm, muy bien. ¿Saben de dónde se deriva would? ¿Qué significa would? Es la forma pasada de will. Oh. Ajá. ¿Y saben cuál es la forma pasada de can? Could. Could. Y... Todos son verbos auxiliares, solo que hay algunos que van en presente y otros en pasado. ¿Y saben cuál es la forma pasada de este verbo auxiliar? Do and does. Acuérdense, pasado, the past form. Did. Did. Perfecto. Ok, ahora ya ven, podemos asociar verbos auxiliares. Una de las características, an auxiliary verb, it's always going to be written before the main verb. Este no es un verbo principal. Por lo cual resulta que no tiene en sí una definición propia, sino es un complemento, un auxiliar, como le llamamos, auxiliary. No funciona como un verbo. No expresa una acción, sino solo acompaña al verbo principal de la oración. Ok, bueno, entonces ya sabemos que will es un verbo auxiliar. 
Y si will is an auxiliary verb, ¿será que going to es un verbo auxiliar también? What do you think, class? Going to. En base a lo que les acabo de decir. Is going to an auxiliary verb? Yes or no? Yes. Exactly. Yes, it is. No dudemos, chicos. También lo podemos agregar en nuestra categoría de verbo auxiliar. ¿Ok? Y si se fijan, este verbo auxiliar no solo es una palabra, sino ¿cuántas son? Dos. Going to. Toda esa expresión es el verbo auxiliar. Yes. Going to. ¿Será que tenemos forma pasada de going to, como en los demás? Will, would. You and does, did, can, could. ¿Será que tenemos forma pasada? Can be went to. Went to, probably. ¿Saben qué pasa con el going to? Como lo agrupamos con el verbo to be, decimos que la estructura es be going to. Entonces, el pasado sería was. Were. Going to. We were going to. I was going to. Entonces, en sí, aquí el verbo auxiliar no cambia a pasado, sino es la forma del verbo to be la que se convierte en pasado. Ahí está, un poquito de los verbos auxiliares. ¿Sí? Entonces, por si les preguntan, ¿qué otro auxiliary verb conocen? Ahí hay más ejemplos. ¿Sí? Ya vimos anteriormente. Dos tipos de los adverbios, que es otra pieza de gramática. It's quite interesting. ¿Por qué les explico esto? You know, estamos aprendiendo un nuevo idioma, es interesante o oh, es necesario saber cómo se le llaman a estas palabritas. So here we go. Look what we have. The information that we have right here is that we normally use will to speak about the future. Yes? It is always combined with another verb. Palabra simple, cuando decimos combined with another verb, it's because will, it is an auxiliary verb, and we need to combine the auxiliary verb with another verb. Okay? Since will is classified as a modal verb. Lo que les hablaba. Can, like can, like would, could, and should. It has the same characteristics. ¿Qué pasa? It doesn't change in the third person. En este caso, will. Como expresa de la misma manera, una acción futura no habla de presente. The third person is not going to change. Yes, el verbo que le acompaña a will no se cambia, no se modifica. It is always combined with another verb in the based form. Lo opuesto a going to, que si necesitamos to include the expression to, In the case of will, we are not going to include to, okay? No se incluye. We don't use it with do in questions or negative state. Ya vamos a explicar a qué se refiere esto con do. Do como auxiliar. No se ocupa un verbo auxiliar o un verbo modal con otro verbo auxiliar o modal. Look at the examples that we have. I will go to the cinema tonight. He will play tennis tomorrow. She will be happy with her exam results. They will take the bus to the south next week. Ok, 
¿Qué piensan de estos ejemplos, clase? ¿Será que son acciones planificadas? Yes or no. What do you think about number one? I will go to the cinema tonight. Yes or not? No. No, why not, Norma? I am not the bullet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am not, I'm not a specific. Come uh, say it all. Okay. So, how do we know that this is not a planned activity? Just because we are using this structure wheel we know that probably this is a real quick decision or an instant decision desde que veo la estructura wheel sé que no se ha planificado con eh, días previos sí o que no es algo tal vez necesario de planificar yes podría lucir que sí he will play tennis tomorrow Pero desde que lo expreso con will, sé que en este caso no es algo planificado. So, I'm going to present five different uh, occasions in which we need to use will and we are not going to use the other structure, be going to. Ya se los presento, pero déjenme chequear la asistencia before. Okay, today is the 12th. ¿Quién está en la English class today? Vamos a ver. Chicos, incluso los que estamos de oyente, tratemos de decir present. Para que quede la constancia de que sí están en la English class right now. Here we go. Ana Yamila Fernández. Present. Thank you. Cristina Claribel Chavarría. Cristina. Yes. Me contestó en el chat. Eh, where? WhatsApp or here? No, here. What did she say? Así es que cuando, cuando veo el listado, chicos, no puedo ver el chat al instante. Yes, tell me. Can you read, please? Her message for me. Estamos... Let me see, just let me check real quick. Okay, she said present. Diana Abigail del Parado. Okay, Edma Azalia Marina Peña. There we go. Edwin Alexander Hercules. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Eli Antonio Sandoval. Georgina Beatriz Perez. Present. Okay, Georgina Elmer Antonio Landa Verde. Present teacher. Okay, Elmer. Jeffrey Mauricio Guzmán. Okay, thank you, Jeffrey. Jennifer Raquel Ayala. Present in oh, Okay, thank you. Jonathan Alexander Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Yasmin Guatemala. Present teacher. Okay, Catherine Laura Concepción Mena. Excellent. Laura, creo que dice present. All right. Margarita Abigail Tobias. Present. Okay, Margarita Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Mario Eduardo Sura. Present. Okay, Mario. Marlon de Nilsson Pérez. Present. Excellent. Melvin Gerardo Canales. Present teacher. Excellent. Norma Elizabeth Callejas. Present. 
Okay, thank you. Norma Elizabeth Lizano. Present teacher. Excellent. Rosa Ivette Garcia. Present teacher. Oh, thank you. Silvia Lizette Milara. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And Stephanie Jamilet Perez. Present. Present. Okay, there we go. So I'm just missing Eli and Dayana. Tenemos muy buena asistencia ahora. Vaya, presentemos rapidito para que nos vayamos a la práctica. Here we go. As you may see, I am going to present five different eh, like situations in which you're going to use this structure. Will. Number one. Lo opuesto al going to, que dijimos que es algo planificado, right? In this case, will, we can have these keywords, rapid decision, instant decisions. Things, plans, activities that we decide to do right now. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, tenemos acá situaciones en donde tomamos instant decisions, just spontaneous decisions. Oh, uh, you know, it is raining. Don't worry. I'll call a taxi for you. I will call an Uber for you. Okay, una decisión instantánea. I think we'll go right now. Yes, we are probably at the supermarket or visiting, you know, a friend and we take an instant decision. I think we'll go right now. Creo que nos vamos a ir ya. ¿Sí? Se decidió en el momento. Oh. We are about to ask or to order some food. Sí, estoy esperando por el menú para pedir mi comida. So, which one? Mm, I will have the chicken sandwich, please. ¿No? Decidí en el momento lo que voy a comer. No planifiqué desde hace dos días lo que voy a comer el sábado en el snack time. No, ¿Verdad? Se toma en el momento preciso la decisión. ¿Sí? ¿Quedó clara el número uno? Instant or rapid decisions. Number two. When we think or believe something about the future. Tengo una palabra clave acá. Prediction. Yes. We are not sure about the event or the results. In the future. ¿Qué es una predicción? Yo creo que va a llover. It can be true, but in the event that it doesn't happen, this is going to be a false statement. So, miren los dos ejemplos que tengo acá. The president will not be reelected at the next election process or we can even make an affirmative statement the president will be re-elected at the next election i think it will rain later so take an umbrella with you ¿Sí? puede ser que pase o no pase lo que expreso en el futuro okay Número uno, dijimos, rapid decisions. Number two, a prediction. Palabra clave para la número tres. To make an offer, a promise, or a threat. ¿Saben qué es esto, chicos? ¿Qué será esto? What is the meaning of this? Yes? Vamos, practiquemos vocabulary. What is that? Any of you know the idea about this one? ¿A qué se refieren esos tres puntos? Dígame. Un trato. ¿Será un trato, chicos? Un ¿Sí? No, no es un trato. ¿Qué será un, un... un negocio? Not really. Amenaza. Amenaza, ya ven, ¿por qué les preguntaba así? Puede confundirse con trato, not really. Es una amenaza. No la tomemos tan negativa o tan 
extrema, una amenaza puede ser de las que la mamá nos dice, ¿sí? te vas a caer, o te O dije espanto, que no lo intentes. quizás también. Puede ser también, ah, depende del contexto, ¿verdad? En este caso, una amenaza, ¿ya? Yes. Cuando yo le digo a alguien, no hagas esto, don't do that, if not, se puede hacer como una amenaza. Por eso les digo, no lo tomemos tan extremo. I will do my best to help you. If you say anything, uh, imagine, I will kill you. No lo tomemos literal, sino si contás el secreto, mm -mm, I will kill you. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Yes? Number one, let's classify. ¿Qué piensan de la una? ¿Qué será esta? Is that an offer? Is that a promise? Or a threat? Reasoning. ¿Qué será eso? Number one, lean la oración. Promise. Yes, is that a promise and offer a threat? Una promesa, ¿verdad? I will do my best. Es como que estamos diciendo, I promise. I will do my best to help you. How about number two? Threat. Promise. Yeah. Offer. Threat. Una amenaza, ¿verdad? How about number three? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. That is a promise. promise. Muy bien. Es una promesa. Palabras claves. Offer, promise, or threat. For a predictable behavior. Yes. Caso que es predecible. El resultado futuro de una acción. You know, my daughter will fall asleep as soon as she is put in bed. Ya saben el comportamiento de su hija. Y es obvio lo que va a pasar. Cuando la cuesta, she will fall asleep. He will give up if he starts losing. He always does that. ¿Qué piensan de esto? Give up. ¿Qué es ese verbo? El verbo give up. He will give up if, we, if he starts losing. ¿A qué se refiere esta oración? He will give up. Se va a dar por vencido. ¿Ves? Entonces... Acá nos aclara, miren, eh, siempre hace eso. Si empieza a perder, siempre se rinde. He always gives up. En este caso, ya sabemos que es un comportamiento predecible. Predictable behavior. Yes. Okay, and that's it. For example, ¿de quién más podemos tener un... Comportamiento predecible. How about babies? ¿Qué pasa cuando los bebés tienen hambre, clase? If a baby is hungry. Yes. They will start. They will start crying. Yes. Es un comportamiento predecible. ¿Qué más? Let me see. Algo predecible, predecible, que no puede fallar en sí, que es casi 100% seguro. Let me see. Um, if you are cooking and you chop some onions, si partimos o picamos cebollas, ¿qué sería el comportamiento predecible? Imagine we are cooking and you are chopping. Chopping some onions. ¿Cuál es la consecuencia? Yes. You will cry. Um, you will cry. You cry. will start crying. Ok, let's pretend. Si nos gastamos toda la quincena en un día, ¿qué va a pasar? Algo predecible. 
if we lose or we spend all the money in a single day, que será algo predecible, que va a pasar, or a predictable action or behavior. I will, I will be worried. Voy a estar preocupada. I will, ¿sí? Es como el resultado de una acción. Obviamente, la primera parte sería como el proceso para que se genere la oración en futuro. Yes. Here we go. Predictable behavior. In this case, in number five, you use want when someone refuses to do something. Alguien no quiere hacer algo, no quiere hacer una acción futura. I told him to clean his room, but he won't do it. She won't listen to anything I say. Como una acción de alguien que no hará algo en el futuro. Por eso lo expresamos con un negativo. In this case, is the short form of will plus not, want. Yes? Vale, ¿cuántas palabras clave les dije que recordáramos? Rapid decisions, predictions, offers, promises, or the ones that we have in number three, that like this one. ¿Cuántas son? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seis palabras clave, ¿sí? Para que recuerden cuándo usar entonces the use of will. ¿Alguna pregunta del uso de will para irnos a la práctica? Questions about this information. Probably in vocabulary, in pronunciation. ¿Están los cinco puntos claros? ¿Sí? Cuando vamos a usar will instead of going to. Ok. Vamos entonces a la práctica. What are you going to do? As it is normal. We are going to present a conversation. Vean acá la conversación que tenemos. Ok. What are we going to do right now? As you may see, we are going to present a conversation. In this case, we are going to read some information about future plans. Number one, I want you to go and practice with the help of your classmates. And then we are going to take the examples of future events as a class. Leámosla para que podamos ir a practicar. Here we go. Listen to the teacher and then you're going to practice with your classmates. Nora, I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll... I'll, I'll hang out with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day and my cousin likes to snorkel. So maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll bring my surfboard. Surfboard, that's great. The more, the merrier. Hey class, do you remember this conversation from somewhere else? Don't escucharon esta conversation before? Do you remember about these conversations? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? 
it's quite similar to the ones that we have in the platform. We just took some information off from the conversation. Vamos a practicarla. Just listen. Quiero que respetemos la pronunciación correcta de las formas cortas. Por ejemplo, esta. Listen. I'll. 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 La tenemos en repetidas okay. ocasiones. I'll. Miren esta. Pronombre we. Plus. Will. We will. Will. No va a sonar como will. Mm -mm, no vayamos a confundir la pronunciación. We will. 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 ¿Sí? Porque will, eso ya sería una palabra diferente. Que no se confunda la pronunciación. ¿Qué otra? Let me check on this one. This one. Si es cierto que no es un futuro, pero es una forma corta. I'd, I'd love you. I would. I would love you. I love you. Yes. That's it. Bye. Let's go. I'm going to send this picture to WhatsApp. You're going to have the conversation practice with your classmates. Yes. And then we come back so I can listen to you. Vamos, chicos. Cinco minutos para practicar. Let me send you to different groups. Si no pueden unirse a las salas o si están de oyentes, quédense acá, por favor. Stay here. Here we go. Go class. It's time to practice. I'm going to send this picture to WhatsApp just right away. Here we go. Let's practice the conversation. Okay, there you go. Excellent. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll talk out I'll. something. I'll mm -hmm. come out. Hang out. Hang out. Hang out. Yeah. Hang out with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plan? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to do we are going to go surfing every day, and my cousin likes to snorkel. So maybe we will go snorkeling one day. So life fun. Uh, hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? It loves mm -hmm. to uh, uh, bring my surfboard. 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 <laughs> That's great. The more the the merrier. No sé qué es. The more, the merrier. ¿Saben qué significa esa expresión? The more, the merrier. Lo más antes, no. Not really. Le está invitando que se una. ¿Sí? Why don't you come with us? Y al final dice Nora, reafirma. The more, the merrier. Entre más gente venga, a eso se refiere. The more, 
de Mary. ¿Ya han escuchado la expresión Merry Christmas? ¿Qué yes. es Mary entonces? Mary. No, I don't know, like, like happy. Alegre, alegre. ¿Sí? Entonces, uh -huh. entre más. Mejor. Mejor. No, más feliz. Más feliz. Más uh -huh. feliz. Más feliz, mejor. So, merrier es como mejor. Aunque okay. en español se escuche como redundante, ¿verdad? Entre más, mejor. Pero sí, más personas, más diversión, mejor. Great job. Okay. I got it. You got it, excellent. Una vez más, ya casi se acaba la clase, yeah. una práctica más, excelente. Ok. I am so excited. Did you practice? Yes, teacher, but only one classmate is missing to practice. Oh, really? Who's missing? Right now we're going to practice with Catherine. Okay, go ahead, girls. I can listen to you. Okay. Ah, Margarita, I guess she's just listening, right? She already did. Ah, she did it. Oh, amazing. So let me listen yeah. to you, girls. Okay. So, okay, come in. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll use stay home. Maybe I'll go hang out with some friends and watch my paper series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day, and my cousin likes to snorkel, so maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Um... Hey, why you don't come with us? Do you mean it? Do you mean it? I love, I love to. I'll bring my surf, surfboard. Yes. That's great. The more, the merrier. The merrier. The, the more, the merrier. Oh, tengo una pregunta. Okay. ¿Saben qué significa esto de more, the merrier? No. It's... Not really? Veo que varios están dudando no. con esta expresión. The more, the merrier. ¿Qué invitación la cenora? Why don't you come with us? ¿Por qué no vienes con nosotros? Mm -hmm. The more, entre más personas vayan, mejor. Significaría entre más, mejor. ¿Sí? Ok, Merry. it's a new expression for me. Really, the more the merrier. También esta es muy, muy bonito ocuparla. Do you mean it? ¿Saben qué es eso? Do uh -huh. you mean it? No. Do you mean it? ¿De verdad? Así como, ¿de verdad me estás invitando? Do you mean it? I love you. Me encantaría eso. Son expresiones muy avanzadas, muy bonitas. Mm -hmm. so great job, girls. Vámonos a ver si sus compañeros sí. tienen preguntas. Esa la vamos a ocupar mañana también. So, keep on practicing, reading. If you have questions about vocabulary or pronunciation, bring those questions to the class. Okay? Great job. Here we go. All right, you know, esta la vamos a dejar para mañana, claro, para escucharlos a todos. The idea is for you to pronounce in a very nice way. Solo aclaremos algunas cosas. Escuché por ahí, algunos no sabían esta. I really like this expression. Tiene expresiones muy, a, muy de estructuras avanzadas. Miren esta. Do you mean it? What's the meaning of this? Do you mean it? ¿Qué será entonces esto? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll bring my surfboard. Hey, why don't you come with us? ¿Qué quiere decir Lily con esa expresión? Do you mean it? Anoten ahí una expresión que podemos ocupar. 
¿Lo dices en serio? En otras palabras, ¿es esa invitación real? ¿Lo dices en serio? ¿Do you mean it? And this one, ese también me preguntaron por ahí. The more, the merrier. Yes. ¿Qué será esto entonces? The more, the merrier. Cuanto más es mejor. Ajá, exactly. ¿Y a qué se refiere Nora cuando dice eso? The more, the merrier. ¿En qué contexto? Yes, vamos, opinen, no tengan miedo de equivocarse. The more, the merrier. If you see, Nora is making an invitation so Lily can join them. ¿Sí? Para que se les una entre más personas o entre más, mejor. Son dos ideas juntas. Entre más, coma, mejor. ¿Sí? Ahí está. So, mañana los escucho en parejas leyendo la conversación. Remember. ¿Qué tarea les voy a dejar? Practiquemos la conversación y más que todo las formas cortas. Like this one. I'll. Que creo que es lo que nos está fallando a algunos. Will. Yes. Practice the conversation. Mañana no vamos a tener tal vez tiempo de practicar al inicio. Solo de escucharlo. So this is what you need to do. To practice the conversation. And then tomorrow we are going to have this conversation at the beginning. Let's stop the class here. Too. Okay. So thank you so much for coming. Vamos a continuar mañana. Tomorrow, class number 16. Yes? So, see you tomorrow, class. Have a good night. Thank bye -bye. you, Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Have a good night. Same to you.